Hey there, and thanks for tuning in to Duck Bricks. I'm Chris, aka The Brick Archivist, and I'm coming to you today with a very brief LEGO Ninjago breaking news video. So today it was just revealed what the exclusive minifigure in the newest Ninjago character encyclopedia book will be, that is, future Nia from that flash forward scene from season 5 Possession. Now, this one's a little bit strange to me, because of course, Nia wasn't actually there in the scene, and she only appeared next to Jay as an indication as to where the relationship was going to go. Furthermore, you can see that she clearly has longer hair and wrinkles on her face to signify that this is in the future and many years older, and yet this figure doesn't seem to have any of that. For example, the other future ninja that we got, which was Jay, we got him in the Bricktober pack just last year, and that was one of the best Ninjago figures that we ever got. He had side arm printing, side leg printing, and I was super stoked to get the rest of the ninja eventually in these robes. The coolest thing about this was the special face that he had, which had facial hair to show that time had passed and to show that this was indeed in the future, Jay with a beard, which looked really, really cool. But unfortunately, they didn't seem to have decided to age up Nia for this future minifigure, which seems really strange to me. Maybe the alternate expression on her face that we just don't see could be an older face, but it still seems very strange to do a future ninja but really not go all the way in. And compared to a lot of the other ones, the torso is relatively plain. It's very similar to her possession robes at the time and really not much detail has changed on that. And again, this was probably because she only appeared for just a few seconds on the show and I can't help but wonder if it would have been more interesting to get one of the other ninja, literally any of the other ones in future robes, Kai or Zane, for example, which have arguably much more interesting detail and makes them stand out a little bit more than the rest of the figures in the line. But that's about it. There you can see in all its glory, future Nia, a very strange choice to include. And honestly, I don't know if that would have been my first choice for an exclusive minifigure. Of course, we're still missing one elemental master, that is Camille. Obviously, we're getting a tournament of elements set in 2021 featuring all the remaining elemental masters except her. So. I feel like it's kind of a missed opportunity to not include that character in an exclusive book just so we can complete the set. The other thing is that I totally understand that LEGO wants to make these minifigures in the books as recognizable as possible and try to fit in as much of the main characters so I can see why they didn't go for a side character. But at that point, why not just do future Zane or future Kai if you wanted to do that? Or alternatively, do one of the other golden ninja. We already have golden Kai and golden Zane. Why not give us any of the other ones? Kind of a strange choice to me, and I know we're getting Golden Ninja in next year's Legacy sets, but that's a little bit different, and we'll get to that in a future video. But that's about it, and thank you all for tuning in. Stay tuned to Duck Breaks for even more LEGO and Ninjago news, reviews, analyses, and discussions coming your way very soon. Thanks, and bye-bye for now.